Right, so I'm back at it. <laughs> back into it with the one in a million. So tonight I'm reacting to Four Page Letter original video. This song I know. So we're back to the song we know. Uh, <laughs> now that last that last song had me vibing. <laughs> Hello, one hour after hearing it. Damn, I can't wait to get into this one. Right, from Choosy Choosy Lover into Got to Give It Up. Now into Four Page Letter. No misses, no misses, no skips yet. But yeah, let's get into Four Page Letter. So without further ado, let's get into this reaction. Can't believe I never heard Got to Give It Up before though. That's mad. Better like than never. Ah, oh, I forgot I should got my shades for this one as well. I'm not doing it though, I can't be asked. I've got like four different shades, I don't know which one to go with. Yeah. A lot of songs I'm hearing these days. It's about heartbreak or it's about, you know, getting in or about how good your nether region is. This one is just a love song, clearly, which is nothing wrong with that. It's just too too much of too much of the one about your nether region's like it go it goes beyond being a pride and it becomes a bit tacky. It's like it's like people bragging about hickeys. They're tacky as fuck. Not a badge of honor. It's not a flex. But as we continue. Nah, when people ask me, <laughs> nah, someone asked me who was my celebrity crush or whatever the fuck. Obviously, each year it's changed. But I think when I was a little kid, okay, it goes Aaliyah, Avril Lavigne, <laughs> Rihanna. <laughs> and you wonder why Aaliyah's on that list? This is why. I think she would have been 45 this year. It's just still alive. Her passing is very sad, very sad. But let me continue. I'm, I'm vibe with the song. Just eye up this man. <laughs> no, no misses, no skips yet. Mm. Now, if this was summer time, I would definitely put my shades on. Or if I was hungover. <laughs> This girl can dance though. The beats on this album. Up in flames, you go. Go on, the both of you. <laughs> I'm in a trance right now. <laughs> Her voice is hypnotizing me. <laughs> nah, this song was fire when I first heard it back in the day and it's fire now. Felt like fire. I have no complaints about this song. None whatsoever. Yes. <laughs> Quickly before I say anything else. But now this song, in fact, a lot of songs on this album don't so far don't sound dated. 
one in a million. Don't if you're going you new, full page letter. The only one that if someone said was dated that that could justify it has got to give it up. But I mean, the the beat is giving disco. But I mean, that's coming back, so because it's not that dated. Now someone commented, "This is what we call R and B, not this current kind of bullshit." <laughs> Ouch. I wasn't expecting that. There are some there are some R&B songs these days that actually are good. Like look at Kehlani's album, um, It Was Good Until It Wasn't. I heard that one during lockdown. Was it lockdown when it, when it came out? Was it 2020? I'm I'm looking on my Spotify right now just to just to plead my case. Oh let me look. Yeah, 2020. Looking at it right here. Proof in the pudding. 2020. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I was about to that during lockdown. Like, I should go back to YouTube more sooner because YouTube, right? It says I joined 2013, but didn't start posting videos on here till about 2014. And even then, it was not on a regular basis. It was like here and there. It was random videos, right? Random video from school, a few challenge videos. <laughs> and that's from 2014 to 2015. Didn't post anything at like, all 2016. 2017, first moved to this house. So I filmed it again. Oh, uh, awkward them ones or whatever. Uh, I, I might unlist some of them. But I haven't got around to it. Nah, I don't think I will. I might make a reaction video out of, out of all those and then after it's on list. <laughs> but yeah, so from 2017 to 2019, I tried to be consistent once a week. Uh, I fell off. <laughs> I fell off after that. I fell off halfway through 2019, right? I was talking a lot of things, right? Jogging my theory test, which I never got to pass, unfortunately. Then COVID happened and a lot of other things. Yeah, long story. Work, working part-time as well. I was at college as well. Did voluntary work experience in London as well. So I was on go. <laughs> that YouTube here kind of felt to the wayside. And then I came back to it in 2020. Because I had more time in my hands because of lockdown. And <laughs> yeah, more consistent with it. And obviously from 2014 to 2020, I was throwing things towards to see what stuck. And obviously reaction videos, I liked doing a lot more. So here we are here today. <laughs> doing hella loads of reaction videos. But yeah, yeah, being said, I wish I wish I listened to the album. So Kehlani's, it was good until it was an album, then on here. <laughs> I probably still could listen to it again on here, now, four years later, because I haven't listened to the album in full in about, pretty much since it first came out. Mm. Also, a few songs from it that I still revisit, so like, Can I and Toxic, but I've not heard that album in full in a long time. So, hmm, that's a thought. But yeah, anyways, that's an example of, of some of the R&B from... Uh, from from today, that's actually good. But now some some of the songs f that are out today are more shorter of anything, so so they're good. But then they cut before they get really good. It's like, what are you doing? Like, uh, who can we say, for instance, did that? Summer Walker. I listened to a song of hers. It was like a minute long. It was like, what the hell? What the hell? It was good. It was, it was good. It was getting good, and then cut. It's like, that's all. That's it. That's like the paycheck I got from my very first part time job. It should have been more, but then I saw. I was like, that's all. <laughs> they make us can't be choosers though but yeah anyway someone commented uh no hypersexualization no self-exploitation she just um excuses femininity yeah i couldn't agree more uh my friends messaging me they probably tell me to get a move on oh here you go yeah they, they tell me they're ready yeah 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 mate i'm on my way now <laughs> Let me go and move on. But now nah, this song was fire. This music video, fire clearly. Now nah, her voice. <laughs> there was a lot, a lot more I could have said, but I just went blank. I was just, I was just vibing with the song. Nah. <laughs> Only regret I have is not watching one of my reactions from back in 2017, 2018 in full because ugh, there's some things that definitely could have been cut. Now thinking about it, ooh. I used to have worked on that a bit. Not a lot, just a little. I'm still learning. I'm still work in progress. But yeah, oh no, loved this song. Can't wait to get into the next song. The next song after this is everything's gonna be alright. So another deep cut that, another deep cut that I have not heard. Hopefully, I like it. That would that would been good. The last thing one is um the first half of the album to be good, and the back half is just meh. But fingers crossed, this is not gonna be like that. Yeah, I'ma head out though. See you later. <laughs> I gotta go. Enjoyed it though. Okay, so that's it for this video. Like, subscribe if you want. I post if whenever I feel like it and I'll see you next one. Bye. <laughs>